Hey guys, welcome back to Body Bags. I am Chris, and I'm here once again for another review for you guys. And this week's theme is Bigfoot, and I am going to be reviewing Exists. Now, I'm sorry if anybody else planned on reviewing this movie this week. I wasn't able to check the list to see what all films were being reviewed. And I know that the Monday one wasn't uh, it wasn't reviewed on Monday, and it was the only film I was able to pick up and watch Bigfoot related. I don't own any other Bigfoot films, uh, so I this was basically all I had. So, um, with that being said, it was a good... Uh, you know, good choice because I actually like the movie, but I'm sorry if this interfered with anybody else's review for this week. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started with Exists. Um, this one is brought brought to us by um, Eduardo Sanchez, the guy who did the Blair Witch Project. And if you watch those movies back to back, um, there's a lot of similarities between the two, and not just being found footage movies either. The the sound is is a lot like uh, the Blair Witch Project, where the campers are in the wood or the well. They're not really campers, but they, they kind of are at the same time. They're just people that are going out to stay at a cabin, but they don't really stay at the cabin. They just have their sleeping bags. Um, so they have this one guy. He's like a, obsessed with, with filming things. He wants to make the next big YouTube video. And uh, his uncle pretty much owns the cabin, and they are trying. They know that there's legends of Bigfoot in the area, so he wants to bring his camera to record stuff uh, just in case. And so what happens is on their way there at the very beginning of the movie, they they hit something with their car. They're not sure what it is, uh, but they keep hearing the noises howling out in the middle of the night, um, and they they don't understand what the what creature is that's making those type of noises. Um, but you could pr clearly tell it's not sounds of an actual real animal, uh, which is this is what leads to the actual Blair Witch similarities is where the sound design, uh, the sound is just stuff coming out from the woods, and you hearing like noises of like tree snappings. Uh, things moving around in the woods, uh, uh, a howling animal, and it's just very, very creepy and off-putting. And it's it's like if you were in that situation, you'd be terrified. Um, and that's kind of how like the Blair Witch was with the sound and everything. Um, but this one is actually a pretty decent movie. Um, I it's not as good as the Blair Witch Project, but then again, most Bigfoot. It's really hard to make a Bigfoot movie be really, really good in my opinion. It's just there's just something cheesy and hokey about Bigfoot itself. That makes it really hard to uh, to cross that line into like intensity level, I guess. But um, this one almost did it. If there's a few things I would change from it, and that would make it uh, almost a perfect Bigfoot movie, a really good scary Bigfoot movie. And uh, basically, these guys get locked into the cabin. They can't go anywhere because they know that there's a creature out there hunting them. So one guy goes to get some help on his bicycle, and this is where the one scenes that I would change. Uh, the guy's riding his bicycle, and he looks back, and Bigfoot is behind him. And uh, he starts chasing him, and Bigfoot is running in the woods alongside him, and it's just really weird because like he's ru he's riding his bicycle as fast as he possibly can, and Bigfoot is running in the field next to him, like just as fast as the guy's riding his bicycle, and it just kind of looks really weird because it's filmed with like a GoPro cam, and so it looks kind of off. It almost looks like it's made digitally, and it's really odd. It's just I I'm, I'm pretty sure it was digital effect, but it just you can just tell it has that weird weird vision stuff to it. like I don't know it's kind of hard to describe but it just wasn't wasn't easy to look at as it was like running next to it, it was just odd um but I would have changed that I, I would have I would actually would have not shown the Bigfoot until like maybe a shot at the very end if they would have done that if they would have just kept the Bigfoot because you get to see him quite a bit throughout the movie uh, from like the midpoint on to the end you see him a lot and uh what I would do if I was if I was in what I would have done is I would actually made the movie just like the Blair Witch, where you don't see anything at all until the very end, maybe maybe like a foot or something like that at, off the camera, or maybe that in the middle, so you at least know what's going on, um, and then maybe a face at the end, and that would have been it. That's what I would have done. I thought it would have made it more intense. Actually, seeing the creature early on, uh, kind of, I don't know, it, it did already let you know what it looks like and what it's what it's going to happen because of that, and it made it a little bit more hokey and a little bit less intense, in my opinion. Um, but the rest of the people, there's only there's like four other people, and they get strapped um, into the well, they get they get trapped into the into the cabin for only like a couple hours, and they they kind of make their way out of the cabin because the the Bigfoot actually gets inside, so they have to leave the cabin. They go to the woods, and just from that point on, it's just Bigfoot picking them off one by one as um, the guys are like hunting them with a rifle uh, or a shotgun, whichever I, I think it's a shotgun. But um, the one thing is I, I didn't like I liked all the characters except for one. Uh, the one the one character I didn't like, um, he's like the uh, the token black guy, and I liked him up until the very end. 
And at the very end, he just kind of like gets into the middle of the woods and he starts hollering for Bigfoot to come find him because he's tired of Bigfoot hunting him. He just wants to get it over with. And he was just really, really stupid part. I don't know. I just did not like that about it. And it made me hate that character. But as far as that, I liked him up until that point. And I liked all the other characters. They were very believable and very realistic, in my opinion. Um, this movie, um, this is one of the best Bigfoot movies, in my opinion. I think it's pretty pretty well done. And it definitely has some creepiness factor to it with all the sound design in the woods and stuff and not knowing like what's coming out at first. Uh, so that's really cool. And uh, the, the look of Bigfoot, um, I, I don't know. I... I like a more realistic tone of Bigfoot, and I think this one was a little bit more like Man in Suit. I think I'd rather have seen like maybe a guy from like Harry and the Hendersons than anything, but uh, all in all, it still played off pretty well as being uh, a type of real creature, I guess. But um, there's not too many flaws with this uh, for, for effects-wise. Uh, I don't think the Bigfoot looked decent for what they were going with, I guess, but even though I would have done differently. Uh, but if you guys like Bigfoot movies, if you like um, found footage movies, this is the... This is the best Bigfoot found footage movie ever made. So, here we go. Exist. And I'm sorry again for anybody else who uh, who actually was playing on reviewing this. But I hope I did a good job enough for you to say it was okay. Um, Exist. Eduardo Sanchez. Bigfoot found footage. Thanks, guys, for another review. And I'll see you next week. See ya.